Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on because we are uploading back to back. If you watched yesterday's video, it was a review of the Carnival palette, the brand new Antidote one. So if you want to go check that out, I'll leave it and link it down below. We have also recently tested the Corpse Bride Revolution collection and we've also done AW7 Advent Candle Boxing as well. But today we're going to be testing the Halloween stuff from Revolution. So, so within the collection, there's two Forever Flowers palettes. These retail for £12 each. There's also a black lipstick that has like a detachable skull ring in it. So if you remember the Christmas collection last year, it had like detachable butterfly rings on the lipsticks. It's like that kind of vibe, but a black lipstick and a skull ring instead. And that retails for £6.99. We also have a highlighter in the shade Witch's Portion, which is a black one, which I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to use today because if it goes wrong, I don't have time to refilm this. So yeah, that one retails for £5 in case you weren't interested. And there is some lashes, but I can't seem to find them. Oh, there they are. These are 100% synthetic and these are the shade So Extra and these retail for £8. And when they say So Extra, they mean So Extra. It says in the back, dramatic full volume and extreme lengthening. Um, last year's perfect for Halloween and SFX looks. Let me just open this bad boy up and you'll see what I mean. Like these ones are crazy. And that is just what they look like. So let's do some swatches on the two palettes and then I think I might do a combination of them too and do like a kind of smoky eye that anyone could really wear for like Halloween whether you're going as a witch, a bat or a cat or anything like that. Just like a super simple kind of smoky Halloween look um, and hopefully that'll help somebody out with the Halloween costumes, who knows. But let's just get straight into it. Let's go to swatches and then let's put it on my eyeballs. <laughs> Before we do go into swatches, I'm going to show you what the palettes look like to begin with. This is the Deadly Desire Forever Flawless palette. So same as always with the tin packaging and this one just looks like this. And then that is just what it looks like. So with this one, let's see how many mats we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine mats in here and there are 18 colours in here altogether. So we have got a bit more shimmers and we have mats. And this one and this one look very similar. One is more pink, like pinky and one's a bit more white and a bit more grey as well. I mean, you can see like kind of the colour difference there. But just make you aware that this is the matte, 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 matte. <laughs> so the ones that I would want to be um, matte are, but these ones definitely could have been swapped around because they are, again, very, very similar. We could have done with like a, a black in here or another kind of one to add us a little bit of depth as well. So that is the Deadly Desire one. And then the other one that we have gives me like Batman vibes. Obviously, I know it's not, and I know they've got like the whole Batman collection anyway, but I think it's just because it's got bats in it. <laughs> That's why it keeps me Batman vibes. But this is the Into the Night palette. And this one is more of your kind of cool tones. So this is what this one looks like. I'll do you a little bit up close. You can see it there. And let's see for shimmer to matte. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six mattes in this one. And again, two of them are quite similar. Um, this one here and this one here is quite similar which is a bit of a shame, but we do have a black in here and a really, really dark purple. Um, not really, really dark, but like a darker purple, which is really, really good. Um, it would have been nice to maybe have, again, just a little bit more depth and maybe less shimmers, but you all know by now, that's just how I prefer my palettes. Not everyone is going to be like that. Not everyone is going to want more mattes like what I do. That is the two palettes. Let's go into swatches and we'll see what it swatches like and then we'll put them on my eyeballs. <laughs> so this is the into the night palette this one here and then oh my god the shamas like i said i do wish there was a few more mattes here that is that palette and then we have the other palette oh my god this is beautiful this is one that you could literally wear like all year round obviously the other one you can as well but like this was one that i would reach for so much more like on the daily and stuff <gasps> It is stunning. Wow. That dark purple is really, really nice. 
So that is that palette. So I'm going to start with the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base and I'm just going to use a brush to tap that all over my lid just to prep the eye. I'm going to start with this eye. So I'm going to start off with the shade Gothic which is the black in the Into the Night palette. And I'm going to take a Revolution R3 brush and I'm going to use this to focus the black right in that outer corner. That black is so pigmented, like that did not take long at all <laughs> to kind of get on and to build up. And then I'm going to be taking a R2 fluffy eye brush from Revolution and I'm going to go in the shade Mystery, which is this matte purple. I'm going to use this to blend out the edge of this black. So I think to blend that purple out, I'm going to go in with this one here, which is Sloth from the other palette. So I'm going to take that colour on a big fluffy brush. This is the R4, which is a fluffy, fluffy, a fluffy, a fluffy blending brush from Revolution. And I'm just going to go in with this, just kind of like messily in the outer parts of that purple, just to blend it all together. And then I will go back in, re-intensify the black, re-intensify the kind of purple as well. I'm also going to take the brush that I used for the purple and just going back in with a little bit more. And I'm going to use this to kind of blend this edge of the black out as well just to make a little bit of a, a gradient doesn't matter again if it's messy because we can just sort it out afterwards it's not a problem so i'm going to start with the darker one which is from this palette and this is the shade vamp very 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 soft to the touch and then i'm going to take that right where that purple oh, and black kind of start and just kind of put it all there that is really nice. Oh, I like that. And then for the inner part that I've kind of left blank, I'm going to go in with Escape, which is this lighter shimmery purple here. I'm going to take some of that again just on my finger and I'm going to focus this right in that kind of inner I don't want to put too much on because I do want the look to be quite grungy, not grungy but like smoky. So I'm going to go back in with some of Vamp again and just kind of blend the two together and then I'll go back in with the black and the purple and just re-intensify everything. Blend it all in with that kind of darker one. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to put that vamp over that purple. I feel like it's making it too pretty and I want it to be more dark. So I'm just going to completely cover that up. Yeah, it was just it was just way too light and pretty in that in a corner. So I'm going to go back in with the black and the purple and kind of transition it more across the lid. Um, instead of it being like the sharp line that we've got now. And then I'll come back and put the rest of my face on. I'll come back and we'll put on the lashes and the lipstick. Super, super quick one today. Um, in regards to the actual other palette, let me know if you want me to do like another video on this because I feel like we've, like, we've literally touched one colour. <laughs> so um, if you want like a video on this, then please let me know. It is more of like a more wearable one. So yeah, uh, let me know what kind of look you'd want me to do with this because obviously I won't be able to do like a, a smoky-ish eye. Um, maybe I could, I don't know, let me know, let me know what you want me to do with that one. But yeah, I'll put the rest of my face on and we'll come back and we'll try the funky lashes and we'll try the black lipstick as well. So now that I've put the rest of my face on and done the other eye, we're going to try the bad boys. These are big lashes. So this is what they look like. Very, very different probably to anything I've ever worn before. I don't think I've ever worn like funky lashes, which is so crazy, but I'll come back in a second and we'll see what they look like. <laughs> The lashes are still drying, but these lashes are cool as, like, they are so extra. Like, I don't even know if you can see them on the end. These are cool. And do you know what? They're actually really, really light. Like, I thought they'd be quite heavy, but they're not. They feel really light. So, yeah, this is what the the lashes look like. I really hope you can see them because I know that my eye straw is dark on the outer corner. And I've got that wing there as well. But for Halloween, banging. 
banging. <laughs> so now let's try the lipsticks. This is the Midnight Kiss lipstick. It's a smooth velvet finished lipstick with a skull ring. So kind of similar to the butterfly. I've actually still got it. Yeah, let me show you. So last year for their Christmas collection, they did something quite similar. But obviously they had it so that it was a butterfly ring. And um, so same kind of kind of kind same kind of packaging. However, this time it is black and it has a skull ring on it as well. Can get out. <laughs> so this is just what it looks like. And obviously then the ring is adjustable as well so that it'll fit everybody. And then this is what the lipstick looks like. So let's see what it's actually like on the lips. Let's see how pigmented it is. Ooh. <gasps> Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, that is gorgeous. So this is what the lipstick looks like applied. It is super, super creamy. And it's nice because it's not a matte liquid lipstick. You're not going to get the butthole lips um, where it's going to be really hard to apply because it is a lipstick. It is super, super creamy. I would probably apply a lip liner with this. But do you know what? You don't even need it. Like, I really don't feel like I would need one. I'd be really happy to just wear this without a lip liner and that's something that's big coming from me. But yeah, I love how this has turned out. It's totally different to how I thought that it was gonna go. Let me zoom you out and we'll go through the products and I'll give you my kind of final thoughts and we'll round all of it up. Okay, so going through the Halloween collection, we have the two Forever Flawless pads. I must admit this one is definitely my favorite. I just feel like it is more Halloween. However, I do think before this past year when I really got into like being I want to say adventurous. This is adventurous for me when it comes to makeup. But I'd say it was like two years ago, this would have been the one that I would have gravitated towards because it's just a lot more wearable and it's something that, ooh, I can open it, that I would personally reach for a lot outside of like Halloween period. So I can understand this one, but I just think now that I'm a little bit more adventurous, I'm going to say as a loose term, I think this one definitely calls my name a lot more and again I'm gonna say it again I just want more mattes that's I'm I, I keep saying it but I'm sorry but that's the truth <laughs> and then in regards to the lashes absolutely love these they were so easy to apply they're really really light um yeah love them like I, I don't even feel like I've got them on they feel lighter than ones that I've wore recently for like a night out and these are like really really long as well, I mean, you can see from like the side, like they're really, really long and fluttering. Really impressed. And then last but not least, we have the lipstick. I absolutely love this. I've never had like a black lipstick that I've really, really liked. Um, in regards to like it feeling like I would feel comfortable kind of wearing it at the house. I think this is gorgeous. And I love the fact that it's not a matte one. I feel like most times we do kind of go for matte ones because we think, oh, it'll last a lot longer. However, it's very easy to get kind of butthole lips with matte ones, whereas with this one, you're not gonna have that because it's creamy, it's lips, you can keep like rubbing your lips together and you can keep reapplying and you're not gonna get that horrible build up. So yeah, I'm actually really impressed with it. I'm scared to use this, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm definitely have to try this when I'm not in a rush to film, so please let me know if you want me to like feature this at the end of, I don't know, a video or something after I've took all my pictures, then please let me know because, yeah, it's like black and sparkly and it's meant to be a highlight of it. It's a funky one. But I'm just, I don't have the time today. I am really sorry. It's literally like 20 to 7 on the, what day we're on today? On Tuesday. Um, you'll be watching this on Wednesday. So I literally filmed this yesterday and then after this, I'm literally going to take my thumbnail pictures, take my full makeup off and then review the carnival palette. So, um, yeah, I've got a lot that I need to do tonight. So I just couldn't risk my base going all funky because I'll have to take it all off and put it all back on again. So, yeah, I've got the carnival palette to film, edit and upload all tonight as well. So you'll have already seen it. It was yesterday's video. But, yeah, that is the whole Halloween collection in regards to kind of the Forever Flawless palettes, the lashes and the lipstick. I would love to know what you think down below. I will be back tomorrow for a brand new video. I'll hopefully we'll see you then. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Love you. Bye. <laughs>